Hey guys, welcome to another Bleeding Edge. Today we're going to uh, show you how to upgrade the Apple MacBook because the newer ones support four gigs of RAM um, with a couple of RAM chips. Stay tuned for that right after this. when you're able to stop uh, the exploitation of a child, or you're able to find that one piece of evidence that an investigator working a homicide needs, that's what motivates you. That's what keeps you coming back. Okay guys, so uh, like I said, we're going to be uh, updating the MacBook Pro um, with two two gigabyte uh, RAM chips because the new Santa Rosa chipset supports up to four gigs of RAM and we want to have the fastest machine possible. So um, as you can see here, this is a, a brand new MacBook Pro with, two point, with a 2.4 gigahertz processor and two gigabytes of RAM, which is what it comes with stock. Um, first step is obviously going to be to shut it down because we don't like uh, injuries or ruining our uh, hardware. All right, so we've shut it down and we're going to uh, start off by closing it and turning it upside down. There we go. You want to remove this battery by uh, pushing on these two clips or pushy things, knobs. So you take it out like that using those two clips and uh, just set the battery aside somewhere. Don't lose it. You won't be able to use your computer if you, lo if you lose that. So, now you're going to need to use a, a size P0 Phillips, which is extremely small, but that's the only way you're going to get these uh, screws out. And they're actually glued in, so it will take a little bit of force. And as you can see, they're uh, fairly tiny. So, be sure uh, not to lose those as well. So, you have the battery and you have the screws. Don't lose them. And this should be the uh, third and final screw that we need to deal with for the upgrade. Now you remove the cover. And there are your two RAM chips. So um, as we said, it comes installed with two one gigabyte modules. You push on these tabs here on the side to uh, get them out. There's the first one. Then the bottom one here as well. And they kind of go in on an angle, so uh, the way you're pulling them out is also how you're going to want to push them back in, starting uh, at an angle and then pushing them down. So let's grab our new RAM. Here's a, uh, a TechWorks RAM module, 2 gigs, as we said. So here we go. We're going to put in this first one into the bottom. Again, we're starting at an angle, as you can see. Oops but we're going to switch it over so that it actually goes in uh, the right way. It's because there's a... There's a little notch, so uh, it'll guide you in. Ram in. Success. Now for the second one at the top. Just drop it in like so. Push in and you're done. Now you just need to uh, screw the cover back on. We're halfway there. We're more than halfway there. All right, for the, so the first screw. Here comes the last screw. And hopefully we didn't lose the battery. I'm not sure. Uh, nope, flavor it is. Okay. So uh, put the battery back in correctly and we, are, we should be good. So we'll boot this up in a minute and uh, show you the difference. All right, so we're done installing the RAM, and uh, we're just going to boot up uh, the MacBook Pro to uh, confirm that everything went well. And um, if you're wondering why we, you know, why you'd want to do this yourself as opposed to just ordering uh, or buying a MacBook Pro um, with the RAM already in it, well, it, we're, we're saving money. So here's our original RAM, and by installing the RAM ourselves, ordering it ourselves, uh, we use MacSales.com, which is other world computing. Um, but you can use Crucial, Kingston, whatever RAM you get your hands on. Um, it'll probably be a few hundred dollars cheaper 
for, uh, you know, how long does it take us? Three minutes it takes to upgrade yourself as opposed to having Apple do it or paying, or just paying uh, for the RAM pre-installed. All right, now that we're all booted up, let's take a look and make sure that we've seated the RAM properly and that everything uh, is working as expected. So I'm gonna pull down your Apple menu and go to about this Mac. And here you can see, now we have four gigabytes of uh, 667 megahertz DDR2 SD RAM. So we've completed our upgrade and it took us less than five minutes to go from shutting down, uninstalling the old RAM, installing the new RAM, and booting back up. I mean, it's one of the easiest um, upgrades you can do. And now we have two uh, one gigabyte modules that we can put in other computers. If you have an iMac or a MacBook or something else that, you know, needs RAM, you have this. So that's pretty much it. Very simple and easy. Another tip from Gear Live. Stay tuned for more tech news through the eyes of GearLive.com. In the past, power plants produced energy at any cost. Now it, we're not only producing energy, but we're producing less pollutants. It's better for the community, and it's going to be better for generations to come. And once it's shut down, we'll turn it over and, ah, why did it do that? <laughs> now we have to cut that part out. Well, that was horrible. <laughs> Tired. <laughs>